Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique. This is video number two in the series on the Voltage Modular System by Cherry Audio. In the first video, we went ahead and made a very simple drum patch using the drum trigger sequencer, some 909 kicks, 808 snares, 808 hats, put a compressor on the kick, sent it into the console mixer, and then put it into the output. And this is what it sounded like at the end of that video. I highly suggest you start there if you're looking to get started with the system because you'll be where we are now and you don't have to worry about anything. So the next thing I wanna do is add some compressors to the output of this little setup we've got here. So what I'm gonna do is come into my effects over here in the search, you can see we've got processors, sources, so on and so forth. Um, if you come down to the bottom, we got effects. I'm gonna add two compressors. And the reason why I'm gonna add two compressors is because I want my output to be stereo because I'm gonna be putting some delay effects coming up and then it's gonna need that stereo signal. Otherwise it's gonna be mixed to mono. And you know, obviously the output of the mixer is stereo and the output to the main outs is stereo. So we wanna keep it stereo. So I'm gonna go ahead and output here, output to here, and then output here, and output here. And now I have essentially a compressor on the output. I am gonna have to, you know, double clicking, you can put in exact values here, and you're probably gonna wanna do that so you're not compressing one channel differently than the other. But there we go, we've got that now, and we can go ahead and run the signal. There we go, our compressor's set up. So the next thing we're gonna do is set up some auxiliary sends and returns here. So what I'm gonna do is put in some digital delay, what was it, digital reverb, sorry, and some delay. And the way this works is we have a send here, and I wanna send the signal to the digital reverb, and then I wanna come out of the reverb into the send. So if I go ahead and let's solo the hats for a second, And there we go, that's the very simple setup. That's how to get started. Again, this is what I'm trying to do here with these video tutorials, just get you started getting noise coming out that you can then go ahead and go forth putting your LFOs and modulators inside of these things because the system gets crazy. Uh, but I think starting with the basics is a very good place to begin. Otherwise, you're just gonna load up a huge patch and have no idea what to do. Things can get quite overwhelming quite quickly, but starting with the ground up and moving up incrementally like this, I think is a good move. So that's the end of that video. Let's jump into the next one where we start using some filters, oscillators, and envelopes to trigger a baseline. Mm -hmm. 